This makes your Land Cruiser more special than any other Land Cruiser on the road. Check out ride with me and today I am at Motown Automobiles to review a very very I don't want to call this a unique car but then again I don't want to call this an everyday ride but yes it is a very great one I'm talking to you about the 2020 Toyota Land Cruiser right here this big bad boy is my baby for today and I am going to tell you every single reason I love this car now before we get into this car i want you to do something if you haven't yet please do well to subscribe and tap on the bell icon to turn on post notifications because weekly i give you crazy 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 car update now moving into the land cruiser what do we have here like i said this is the 2020 toyota land cruiser and there are a few things that make this car unique yes looking at the design it doesn't really look different from what the predecessors look like but in fact there are no major changes okay there's one major change though to mark 60 years of their existence toyota created a limited edition of the land cruiser and they call it the heritage version so what differences does the heritage version have from this one um the heritage version comes with darker chrome bits on the front here the headlamps are darker of course it has like just two seats or two rows inside if you want a th third row option well that's optional you have to pay a bit extra for that and that's majorly it now talking about this land cruiser let's talk about the overview the front of the car looks very intimidating very aggressive it's a land cruiser it doesn't look like what it was before but this definitely screams get out of my way on the highway if you see this you'd actually give it respect and just move your your car away from the road let's be honest so i love 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 this big grills with the big toyota logo right in front of course we have our parking sensors right there we have our double beam headlamps double beam led headlamps we also have a nice looking led daylight lamp running fog lamp rather running right there um moving over to the side of the car we are presented with massive tires and an 18 inch rib right over here of course we have our running lights on the mirror which is massive this mirror is big really really big i love the size of this suv and everything about it is simple yes it does look like the normal land cruiser yeah 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 yeah. but it's this let me just say this is more imposing so there's no much difference the difference is not much at all but it is really imposing you can tell that the back still looks like the land cruiser i can't really tell if i prefer the design of this land cruiser to the design of the lx the lexus lx 570 i think everybody prefers the lx 570 actually but this is what i like to describe as the brother that is just mean and is a bully basically so the land cruiser is the bully brother while the lexus lx 570 is the more oh don't bother me oh please corporate kind of brother yeah, that's how i like to refer to the both of them so let's pop the hood and see what's powering them while well, we say goodbye because this okay 2021 still looks like this but that will be the last time you see this design on a land cruiser right now i have the hood popped and we are presented with this massive 5.7 liter v8 engine which is paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission gear and pushes out 381 horsepower and 401 pound feet of torque it sends all of this power to the four wheels of the car yes it's a four wheel drive suv and this car goes from zero to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds yeah now when it comes to fuel economy this does 13 miles per gallon on the, in the city and about 17 on the highway we're going to come back to that later okay so right now i'm just going to um get into the land cruiser and tell you everything that we have here inside the car oh my god 
Okay. That is one fresh off the boat, brand new. You can actually tell I love the smell of brand new cars. So right now we're inside the Land Cruiser and I want to say this is really beautiful, but I'm just going to say that I think Toyota left out all the luxury stuff for the LX brother. That's the finer brother. But this is the stronger brother. Anyway, moving on. So right here we have our perforated seats which you can see and i love the fact that this front actually does feel spacious it's a big suv so i don't expect any less of that we have right here a glove box right here plastic dash which well this front is pretty basic there's not too much to it this is our eight speed automatic transmission gear um of course various controls these are like driver assistant feature controls which we have here and this car well had to follow um, the train or the trail of its brothers and sisters worldwide is keyless too and so I'm just going to turn on the car I will talk about the screen of course so now looking at the screen it's coming or what presented with a Toyota welcome message which then shows you you get so right now of course we have a nine inch touch screen media uh, screen <laughs> let's call it that which is not it's not compatible with apple carplay and android auto it's only compatible with your normal bluetooth of course it has like uh, radio connectivity and all of that stuff so this is just it there's nothing to it as you can see browser there's nothing really to it so it is good for someone who just wants to enjoy a daily drive but you can't do much on the infotainment system of course here you have or we have our four zone climate control which you can control from here everything here like i said before is this stuff that you use to control the car of course here you have a usb port and an aux cord slot right there right here we have cup holders and over here we have storage space for well our phones and here we have a cool box so you can easily turn that on from here and that honestly is it so let's check out what the back would actually present us with I will talk more about the car so in as much as I said that Toyota left all of the luxury stuff for the LX they did still give us some right here and that includes this beautiful leather um, leather covered seat with which is perforated like I showed you in front and you can see it's dusty because well it's fresh off the boat guys and it is actually super super comfortable I love the fact that the headroom right here is great the legroom is just is just really really nice so it's really spacious in the front and at the back and in front we do get power controlled seats in front too we do get heated and cooling seats and right here at the back we get only heated seats so why do you guys want to make my bum bum hot at the back but not cold at the back food for thought now still at the back i love the fact that you have this is supposed to be an armrest it might not serve as an armrest and something i really like cup holders right there for you like i said earlier it does come with four zone climate control and so that's what you have here with your controls of course you have your 12 volt socket and the highlight of the second row would be the 11.3 inch screen that you can see here that is not something you find in, on a lot of cars especially ones that have luxury counterparts so i can say or it would be right for me to say that land cruiser is tending towards the luxury um angle let's put it that way because they have given us oh nice screens and all of that stuff so this might not be as functional as that in the front because that is more detailed the, the one in front is the one that has all of the details and all of the tech features that we have for this car but this would keep your kids company or would keep your friends company when you're going out and they can just enjoy maybe a movie or something or music videos that actually be cool something i really like is that this car actually does come with third row seats actually and i think that is actually really amazing okay now so we're at the back 
and I really do love this bag. Can I much as yes, I showed it to you before. It is massive, it is imposing, and of course, you have the GXR Grand Touring embossed right there. Toyota Land Cruiser spread out on the back because everybody needs to know that you are driving this worth of money. And it's a V8, you have to show everybody that. So, guys, to so open the boot with the key, you press and that, and we have a power tailgate, but that only applies to the top. The one for the bottom, you have to manually open and bring down by yourself. So now, this is a third row seat um, put down. Let me just take this out to show you. Now, if this third row seat were actually up, you would have 16 cubic feet of space. But because they're down, we're just going to take them to the sides because they do not fold flat. And so to do that, you pull this lever and up it goes. Do the same thing for the second and you have 41 cubic feet of space right here in the Toyota Land Cruiser. So um, I really do like the trunk space. I like that you have a lot of space when the seats are up. I just do not like the fact that that is really heavy. Okay, so like I was saying, I just do not like the fact that you have to have that much space in an SUV this size only when the third row seats are up. What if I come from a family of seven? This is an eight seater, which is very suitable for us. And all of us in this car, we want to travel. What are we going to put all our stuff? Do you feel me? Yeah. So this brings me to that part where I tell you the things about the Land Cruiser that I do not exactly like. Now, first and foremost this trunk space which i really showed you is disappointing and you notice that i didn't get into the third row seats because the spacing there is really 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 i don't want to say use the word bad but it's just off it's really tight in there and it's only suitable for kids and so i'm just going to leave that alone for kids yeah now when it comes to the fall economy fall economy on this car like i said it's 13 in the city and 17 miles per gallon on the highway it's not in the least bit encouraging the media system is outdated somewhat you're trying to tell me that in a 2020 car we have no apple carplay or even android auto so i have to keep using um my bluetooth yes you do have sat nav on it but the display is somewhat it's just let me just say it's it's not as updated as it should be let's put it that way so that or these are the reasons that I happen to not um, be very keen on the car. Those being said, this car actually still does come up with a lot of cool features to make up for them. To, be to begin with, we have our LED headlamps, our fog lamps right there, which are still LED. We have rain sensing windshield wipers on this car. We have a power sunroof. I love my sunroofs in my cars. As you can see, I'm holding the key and it is keyless. So you have keyless entry and keyless ignition on this car. You also have driver assistant features in this car, which include automatic, automatic rather emergency braking for maybe a time when on Matilda is talking too much and she loses her concentration. And we also have adaptive cruise control for some time when Uncle Matthew is shouting at his kids and he loses focus. Yeah. Also, one more thing. We have heated a heated steering wheel and an extra still a heated and dimming mirror or heated and dimming mirror. The Land Cruiser offers you great, great, great handling. Yes, when you're driving on paved or tarred roads, it does give you this, um, you, let me say you expect more from it, but that is pardonable because this makes up for it off-road. And so it is very suitable for people who are driving in Africa. You have the Land Cruiser. And most importantly, this car is highly and super reliable. And at a cost of just 60 million naira, you get to own one. And guess where you have to get it from? Motown Automobile, because they have the best and the least least fleet. And this is another reason why. You see this embossed design? This makes your Land Cruiser more special than any other Land Cruiser on the road. And who has it? Motown Automobile. So yes, give them a call. And beautiful people, this is where we call it a day. Thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. If you're new here, please do want to subscribe on your way out. Tap on the bell icon to turn on post notifications. Give this video a thumbs up. 
Tell me in the comment section what cars you'd like to see next. And guys, I am out. See you next time. Bye.